Hi class, this week I ask you to explore the first encounters between the French and the Native Americans living in Michigan. And here I have up for you a map of what it looked like about 200 years ago, where the major tribes were 200 years ago. And as you can see, a lot of, um, a lot of Michigan was covered with Native American tribes. And so when the French arrived in order to um, have economic gain, um, from our land, this place wasn't just, you know, uh, spotted here and there with different people. It was a fully populated state. And of course, there were confrontations involved. And so this week, I want you to think about those confrontations. Now, for most of, of world history, um, history has been written from the side of the Europeans for a lot of world history. Um, and, of course, then from Anglo or uh, European Americans later on in the history. And so, consequently, we have this tendency to view things, view encounters, let's say, um, from the European perspective. Um, what myself and others like to call um, that, you know, we're, we're kind of looking west. We're looking west at the other people. And so this week I want you to think about what it's like to put yourselves in the native people's uh, position. And so look east. What would conflict, you know, what would encounters have looked like from the Native Americans' perspective? What kind of conflicts might they have found? Um, you know, we think about uh, the, the French, let's say, and I'll just give an example about religion. Um, the French were highly Catholic that came to Michigan. Um, most of them claimed allegiance to the Catholic faith, although there were some Protestants in, in France called Huguenots. Uh, there were uh, largely, uh, it, was a front, uh, it was a Catholic population. And so they come over with certain ideas about religion. Um, they believe, of course, in Christianity. They believe um, in saints. And then think about what the Native Americans would have thought of them. You know, um, would they have a, a Native American tribes, many of the ones in Michigan, put a real emphasis on the earth? And so, you know, would they have said, you know, my, you idolize man, you know, in the key figure in Christianity um, being the man, Jesus Christ. Um, and, and um, you know, think about other things, you know. Um, the French were largely capitalists. They were here to uh, to make money. <laughs> that's a, that was the sole reason, and that's why they don't really colonize the area. Is because a lot of them are just bachelors. They're coming over to make their fortune, and then and then they plan on returning back to France. So let's think about it from the the Native American perspective, and and they might say, you know, well, what is the point of having all this excess currency? You know, why why would you work? 8, 10, 12, 14 hours a day when you could live happily in, uh, on just a few hours a day, on just a couple. And of course, you know, we think about it from the French perspective, and the French are saying, oh my goodness, and you'll read today, you know, that they don't revere the, the, um, the money they have. They don't revere, the, the, they put all their faith in things like copper. Of course, copper wasn't a precious metal, as was gold or silver. Copper doesn't become really, really valuable until there's electricity. And then, of course, copper is used as a conduit for electricity. So you have one perspective, you know, where the Native Americans are probably looking at the French and they're saying, you know, you know, why is your currency so great? You know, we have our own currency. We have our own way of, you know, uh, conducting business. But, uh, you know. Who makes yours the best? And so think about those assumed arrogances that historians have um, in the past when they wrote this history and then what historians are doing now, which is trying to make a more complete uh, picture, a more complete narrative. Okay, have a good time this week. Let me know if you need anything. Um, I'm right here for you, so let me know if there's any problems or any confusions, and I'll be happy to help. Talk to you soon.